Hey everyone, welcome back to Roulette Fever. Today we are going to do some inside baiting. Okay, and we are going to bait on the basis of stats. Although we don't have the statistics section of finding out the hot and cold numbers in this simulator, but we are going to use some sort of statistics okay anyway so as you can see that through this chart we can determine determine which are the hottest and the coldest numbers okay so i have determined it and on the basis of that we are gonna place some street baits okay so let's go we're gonna choose one dollar street bits okay and we're gonna place six street baits to be exact with okay and street baits are a tricky thing to place and I have chosen the streets on the basis of, as I said, the hot and cold numbers, okay? And yeah, let's go with this ones. Because if you look at the statistics, that's what it's been showing. Although you can see a bit of some of the ups and downs here and there. One number comes from the other street or the other two from the other streets. So yeah, that's why I've chosen this street bits, okay? Six street bits. We are going to follow a certain progression. So let's begin. Here we are following the trend, you know, the hottest and the coldest numbers. And when you go with the trend, as you all know, the trend is your friend. So I hope it's going to be a good one because I've given it some trials on the demo. It's been working really fine, you know. As you can see, we're off to a good start. Let's see how it goes. I want to give you some demos of the progression and all of the stuff. So as long as I can give you that, I'm going to keep on playing. So after the first loss, we don't need to increase our bit size. Okay. Irrespective of what your session chip counts are. And I'm playing it on American roulette. I hope that you'll be able to play it on European roulette or online mode. Because there you have the luxury of finding out those hot and cold numbers. I'm not aware of the offline casinos whether they provide those services or not because here they don't and here it's illegal to to play on offline casinos you know it is illegal here here we have another win as you can see as i said that you don't need to increase your bet size just after a single loss okay and after that we are going to follow a simple progression in European roulette, what happens is that those of you who play regularly would know that uh, very often you get to see repeats, okay? Repeats of number, repeats of certain zones, and that's why I've chosen this tactics. Now, we're going to increase our bet size, okay? We're going to increase it by $1 on each and every street. Okay, we have another loss and in this case also we are not going to increase our bet size okay after even after a loss we're going to keep it same let's see if we can get a win or not okay we have another loss we are betting with streets so remember there will be scenarios like this okay we are not changing our streets and we are betting on the basis of the hot and cold numbers We have another loss. This type of things can happen. Okay. Keep a strict stop loss on the basis of your risk appetite and your session target, obviously. After getting on to a, some good start, we have faced some losses, unfortunately, but this is part of the game. Okay. Now we are increasing it by one unit on each and every bet with loss. There is no need to hold back anything. For the first two steps, you don't need to increase, okay? After a single loss. And I am not going to play over 100, okay? If I get 200, I'm going to use it as my stop loss. Not going to go over that. I'm going to reduce my pet size with each and every win. Let's see. We are covering half of the board, technically. Although we have those two devils, zero and double zeros, but still. There will be losses. You will face losses and 
well that's why there is that progression on you know and if you want you can change your street bets that's not an issue but as i said that i'm betting on the basis of the trend you know you can choose choose these numbers on the basis of high and low or with any other par parameters you prefer using you know now shuffling this street bets can be sometimes really tricky because it requires time and at the same time you need to remember where you are betting and with what unit size you know so that's why i'm not changing and also because i'm following the hot and cold numbers here this has given me some good results you know so let's see how it works this time it's a zero we're gonna increase once again You can start with 50 cents okay on each and every street I have another loss and as i said i have my strict stop loss in my mind and i'm not gonna go over that you have a win great we're gonna reduce our bet size after each and every win spin we have another win now we can come down two or three steps in the into the degradation you know when you are facing wins back to back or anything like that you can minimize your risks as much as you want to okay in this case i can come down one more step if i want to which i think i'm gonna do because there is no point in keeping this bet so high okay Choose for yourself, okay, how much risk do you want to take? Okay, we have another win. So, we're going to reduce our bet size once again. We're in positives. So, technically, you can go back to your best bet, but I'm going to keep my bet size at least on the second step of the progression. We have another win. Now, we can go back to our best bet, okay. I am using 100 at my, as my stop loss, as I said, and 50 as my target. So let's see how it goes. Okay, after a first loss, we are not going to increase our bet size, as I have been saying from the beginning. Great, another zero. Now we are going to increase. As I said, you can use the highs and lows or anything like that, you know, to choose these numbers. But I've gone with the hot and cold numbers to choose these streets. Don't think that just two streets are at the beginning of the board or two are at the end of the board. I've chosen like them. I've chosen them like them. It's not like that. Okay. I've chosen them on the basis of stats. Another win, great. Remember that for the first two steps, I mean for the first two step of the progression, we are not increasing our bet size just after a single loss, okay? We are waiting for the second loss to increase our bet size. So first loss, we wait and then we increase it by one unit on the next round. Then if we face another loss, we wait again and then we increase it after another round, okay? And after that, from there on, you can increase it after each and every loss but when you are winning and coming down through degradation you know at that point of time you can come down two or three steps at a time if you feel more comfortable in doing it that way because you need to minimize your risk okay you need to see where your chip counts are where your session wins are how far you are away from your previous session high you know so Make your decision on the basis of that, okay? We have another win. I could have easily, you know, increased from the first loss, you know, my bet size. But I decided not to because there is no need for doing that. 
now many of you may say that well why are you only doing that for the first four steps you know because after that it can mount up you know those losses and you will face one or two wins and i want you to win big while you face that you know these strategies this inside bet strategies are like that so that's why i'm increasing after that fourth step so we are two dollars away from our session targets target and as you have seen that we are on the verge of touching our stop loss and from there on we have come back to our session target okay so you can understand the effectivity of this strategy okay this strategy is effective if you use it properly and as i said on the basis of stats but we haven't touched our target yet so let's see how much more time do we need to get to our target again we are not going to increase our bed size that's how the first four steps are we are on i'm going to decrease my bed size okay you see how i'm minimizing my risks because there is no need to take any excessive risk you know okay we have another loss we are not going to increase our bed size this time we are going to increase once again sorry okay. as you can understand that i am calm about this strategy because i have seen the, this to work so many times and that's why i said that i'm going to use 100 as my stop loss and i have never had to use that one obviously but it is there you know if i ever have to use it i'm targeting 50 and as i always say that keep the double of your session target as your stop loss because you need a bit of you need to give a bit of breathing room you know we have another win great again we are in 40s let's see okay we have a loss as you can understand that i'm a, i'm a bit of stubborn kind of a person and i don't give up that easily okay i was so close to reach my target we are I think we are on 48. We were on 48, yes. Okay, we have another loss. I'm gonna increase once again. I'm not gonna stop until I reach 50. Okay. I know many of you may feel bored because you you have known this strategy from, you know, from those examples. So if you feel like you want to go, you can go. Obviously, I know you won't stop. Uh. for me to say that you will go whenever you want to go but as i said that i am a stubborn kind of a person when it comes to betting and i don't give up that easily as long as it's not hitting my stop loss you know we are going to increase again now i hope that you can understand why i said that i want you to increase on each and every loss after that fourth step because you will win okay but uh, if you are not following the progression properly it may come across to you that even though you are winning some rounds okay but you are not getting back to your at least session positive or close to your previous session high because you are not increasing it properly you know so that's why i said after that fourth step increase it after each and every loss i've given it some thought you know before coming up with this kind of a progression where you don't need to increase after each loss for the first four steps okay so i hope you understand what i'm saying that for first four steps because we don't increase after first loss then we increase okay 
then we again don't increase after the third loss you know then we increase again on the fourth step so let's see what happens this time we're up by 42 i think it's another win yes it is let's see what's in our destiny this time we have a win finally we have reached 50 so as you saw guys i stick to my target and to my stop loss i followed the strategy with stubbornness and with belief so it worked at the end and i'm betting on the basis of the hot and cold numbers but you can choose any parameters okay you can choose your numbers on the basis of any parameters let me know if you want to make any modifications into the strategy and yeah keep on supporting guys and try it out on demo let me know how it works for you i'm gonna see you on the next video